how do you feel knowing that this point where you came to Nigeria is when entertainment and music is really big? Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful thing because um, I've seen this evolution over the years. Um, but this is definitely the moment, like, this is the biggest moment we've had. And I, I know it's going to be even bigger, man, with, with the pioneers of Nigerian artists that are going out into the world and say, look, this is our sound, this is our culture, and you're going to have to deal with it whether you like or you don't like, right? Um, but I, the fact that it coincides with me coming back, it's, 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 I'm part of that movement, but I'm building the bridge from the other side, from the other parts of the world, right? So it's a, it's a blessing, man. How much of our sounds down here influence your music? Um, a lot, man. It's even, it's beyond, like, you know, I have a couple songs that are Afrobeats, but the album that I'm uh, putting out in, uh, in a couple months is, which is called Long Live the Chief, is more than just that, because I've lived in a lot of places, dealt with a lot of people. But the content, the values, even a hip-hop song like Chief Don't Run is still about um, what it means to be a chief. So, honestly, I don't think I can divorce our culture from even how my mind thinks when I'm in America. I've always felt like an African in America, um, in addition to an African-American. The culture there, is that that struggle where sometimes you don't have that confidence to fully, you know, put out your culture, your real roots? Nigerians are confident, man. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't have any problem with that. And also, I see similarities all over, uh, especially with black people in the U.S. They, like, just the way that, um, even certain OG gangsters, the way they are, they're really chiefs. Even the, the name OG, right? Like we have that name here. So it, I see so many similarities. Even trap music right now, the melodies that Future or Designer or Travis Scott, the, they sound uh, Nigerian, they sound West African to me. Um, so I think it's, it's actually the whole, we're, we're, we're coming together right now. I just I don't feel Looking it. at the Nigerian entertainers, the artists we have, who are the ones you look at you're saying, okay, I'd love to work with these ones and why? I mean, there's, there's plenty of artists, man. Like um, anybody from uh, Tiwa, who I was just chilling with uh, for the VMAs, and who I think is an amazing artist and an amazing, intelligent woman, um, to uh, to Flavor, of course. You know, my my Igbo brother, man. I have to, man. I love Sawa. Like I just love the classic sound that he makes. Um, I've been in the studio with Wizkid, and I've talked with a lot of people from. You know, everybody, man. David O. There's, there's a lot of artists I, that I love, and I'll collaborate with many. Speak Igbo? I speak, I mean, small, small now. I don't, I don't, it's like, it's like beyond beyond the, the basic greetings, like Kedu, Adema, Karafagi, and all these things, I don't have, um, I'm coming here to learn, man. Not this time. Um, I actually took a course in the States. Yeah, yeah, I did. Because, I, yeah, while I was in college, they offered it. But, uh, you know, as a typical Igbo woman, the, the professor was talking so, she was just excited that we are here, so she took so long to teach us. I don't think we even learned too much, man. So I'm here to learn, man.